today is that Blinded Burnett has been given £30,000 by the Home Office. I think this is a really exciting event. This is your choice. Today is the participatory budgeting event, um, sponsored by the Home Office. Um, and what we're doing is we're giving the people money and, and the decision-making powers to spend that money uh, in, in the communities of Blind and Gwent to make the area a safer uh, place to, to live, work and visit. At a participatory budgeting event, each group pitches their community projects while their peers vote on who should be funded. I think it's a brilliant idea for everyone really who's involved and for members of the community of Brown and um, and hopefully good luck to everybody with their projects really. We would like to ask for £900 to purchase a trampette and a vaulting block for the young people in these sessions. I'm Shannon. I'm Chelsea. I'm Beth. And we're from Fadiga Youth Calf. We're asking for £2,300 to run a 50 week project to help young and old work together. Events like this really, really bring the community together. Not only one community, but the whole community of Blinda Gwent. All votes are entered onto computers by the community safety team and are carefully watched by members of the community. We need £4,700, an awful lot of money, exactly what it sounds. Our parents will be happy knowing we're secure. It's a dense band and it's absolutely be fewer. Today we are asking for £2,830 for Gethley Group Community Garden. We ask for £1,500 on each project, but any sort of amount would be appreciated. We are from Tredegal War Games Club. We're here today to ask for £2,822 for the rent, the premises and equipment we need to keep the club going. The half term before last, we put on a boot camp, music and media boot camp. This particular funding will give us the opportunity to run it as an ongoing half-term holiday project. What we're going to do, we're going to have a make a film on um, drug awareness and alcohol and that, and Andrew's drinking. We are open to raise £1,630. We're taking over some waste ground behind the back of our tents and residence house, which we would like to make into a wildlife and sanctuary garden. The funding will pay for a head tutor to coordinate the project for another eight months and also to develop and promote an increased membership. Our project, which is for nothing glamorous, a new buyer. I think we put our point over quite well and hope we'll, we'll, we'll have what we've asked for, because our, our hall is freezing. <laughs> I'm Lewis and I'm here to represent the Mania de Samba, which takes place on Tuesday nights at Hilltop Log Cabin. I know it seems a lot on there, but trust me, what we've got for this money will be great. Give us the materials and we'll sort the rest. And hey parents! <laughs> you know where they are if they're at BRFM. True professional, bang on two minutes. Do we have a don't we seek for the Gumdithes and Cala Cavle, Egal Dave, Sigma Arian, Caliguario, and New Hartel Ho? The reason we have come here today is because, like all of you, we, Abervale Deaf Club, on behalf of all members of the deaf community of Brian Gwent, would like a share in the £30,000 on offer today. Yeah, I think it's much better than just having like a board saying they can have money, they can't. This is people who are actually taking part in um, projects themselves and they are think they, they're in the same boat as yourself so they are listening to what you've got to say and they're deciding on what they think is good for the community and what isn't. These boys don't go out drinking, they are, they are training like this all the time um, and I feel. It's the first time I've attended an event like this and I would think to have the community participating in the allocation of grants is an excellent thing. It's been an absolutely fabulous day, beyond all our expectations. It's been the ownership and engagement by the public that has really made the difference. These are only small sums of money we're talking about, yet they make such a difference, not just to the projects, but the communities in which those projects are taking place. Did it go well for today? Yes! Yeah. 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 I got money. How are you feeling? Mega, yeah. Well, it's the first time we were there and we were unsuccessful. However, still immensely enthusiastic about it. Big thumbs up to the people who won, and I know the money's going to be spent locally. The fact is, it's a public voting thing, so you have to be there to vote. That's the big message. It's events like today that generate and stimulate the real interest in local democracy. 
It's been such a successful day today that I'm sure that it's going to lead to a lot more people wanting to become involved in activities within the local community. I didn't encourage others because, as you can see, we, we, we won and uh, it was well worth our while. Brilliant! Yay! You know, normally as officers, we think we know what's best for that particular street or that particular neighbourhood. This way around, the communities themselves decide what's best. Do you have a head of the main win high approach for death, seeking power on between win high via at the Guelda Bobble evening and Carl Gamite or Gavin Well, there's 250 people here today, and you know, this is the most people I've ever seen in one place, uh, you know, engaging on, on what they want to do in their community. So, you know, from what I've seen today, we'll be doing much more of this. Yay! I think this has been absolutely fantastic. We've heard young people giving poems, we've seen a gymnastics demonstration and I've had comments from members of the community and the public who are here today saying to me, I didn't realise that was going on, I didn't realise those young people were doing that in that area, what a fantastic thing they're doing, so it's really good. Lovely day, lovely event, lovely people. For further details regarding the event, please contact the Community Safety Team at Blyna Gwent County Borough Council, Civic Centre, Ebu Vale. Telephone 01495 311556 or 01495 356 146.